Previously. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. And now we continue. Hey everyone, hey Dustin Dan here, welcome back to more Hitman 3. Alright, so the last part we did on top of the world, assassinated two asshole targets in the most cool and suave way possible. But now, time to do our next mission, Death in the Family. So don't forget to click the button and the will go bounce to the side to notify. Let's go kill this bitch, shall we? Let's go put on our slick and suave moments on. What's the briefing? What we gotta do, Chief? Who we gotta kill, and how we gotta kill. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here. And it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Mission active. Time to kill this bitch. So yeah, like I, um, so pretty much what I did, like, same thing with the last mission is where I got, my, I got myself familiarized with the mission and I pretty much figured out how to do this in the most stealthily, you know, suave way possible. So you want to start off as, you know, having, um, well, any a, a outfit you like, any outfit you want, but I'll, I'll just go with the, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, go, I'll go with the red crimson suit. Uh, you want to have a briefcase because apparently you need to have a gun for this mission. And there's no way to dispose of the gun outside the manor, so it's really, really fucking. So like, if you, so like, if you want to be suave, you gotta have the case and all that, and yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So this, I'm gonna show you a way how to get the case file and limit the target at the same time. So yeah. So pretty much, I found out Thornbridge this Thornbridge Manor, works. the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. 
So yeah, pretty much, you see what I said about the PI? Yeah, that's the way, that's pretty much the route you want to go for. There are two routes that I, that I found that you could uh, be all suave about it. First one, this one. So what you want to do is, you want to, so basically that's when you want to ignore that real quick, sneak around here, and get over here. So immediately jump over. And it's stupid, because I can't cross the bridge. It's real dumb. So you want to be very careful not to alert them. So you want to be as stealthy as possible. Alright. Okay. Alrighty. And now... Come here! Doink! Alright, come on. Come on. In you go. Come on, a little bit closer in there. In there. Alright. And boom. Disguise yourself as a gardener. And just, just leave that here. Yeah, yeah, basically leave that here. Let her pick it up. Yeah, let let her pick it up. And she's gonna go away with that. Yeah, go, go away, bitch. And then... That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. So she's gonna go Maybe away. you should do some detecting yourself, 47. And then you're gonna... A famous private investigator. Alright, so you want... So you want to be fast about it. So you want to be fast. You're gonna get noticed. Yeah, be fast, be fast, be fast, be fast. Into the bushes, into the bushes. Uh-huh, you don't see shit. Uh-huh, you don't see shit. There's a straggler nearby. I wonder who that could be. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're Oh, don't here. worry. It's a little police. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Yes, you may. Yes, please. If you'd follow me... I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. What's the issue? Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madame's funeral, and then she turns up alive. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary, and and all this security. I've never seen the place guarded like this, and and, and I dare say I don't like it at all. This is what I mean. You have to be patted down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. Yeah, keep it real. Oh, it's okay. Come on, brisk me. Funny. Oh, oh. My mother always said I had good hands. Oh, oh. Said I should have been a Oh, good hands. How about uh? Me and you go somewhere and show me what Thank those uh, patience, what those uh, hands can do. <coughs> I mean, hello, I'm a famous detective here, and boom, we have the estate. Hmm. Uh, hello, hello, uh, come here, Um, ah, over here. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. No problem, notice. no issue at all. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution, handled with absolute discretion. Uh, my specialty. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Phelps. Well, my cat is trying to get every Madame little like, drop of food from his cat, acting like he hasn't eaten Mr. in years, I even though he ate like what four times London. today. Would you care for some refreshments, or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? Uh, let's go straight there. I prefer to get started, as you wish. If you'll follow me. Oh yes, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, show me to the crime scene. I'm here to solve a murder, not commit one. <laughs> I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. Oh, really? You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madame's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected How are you, by sir? a rather unusual situation. I mean, yeah, like, you're, like knowing that your mom's dead, all her to show up out of nowhere, like, ah, oh, hello, I'm not really dead. Like, it's... If word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive... I'll consider her dead when I leave. Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> Before you inspect, I love how you say you like so nods. Like I'll consider her dead when I leave, even though we're actually here to kill her. Like the fuck, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed. Oh morning. really? The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. Oh. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play, and will not accept that he took his own life. For you. So please do come and see me when you finish your investigation of the crime scene. Copy that. This is Mr. Zachary's room. Oh yeah, he closed the door. A locked room murder mystery, forty-seven. Mm. I trust you'll get to the bottom I of this. Was. Check around. Huh? A note. A suicide note. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Huh? Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Yeah, definitely foul play. Why would you like shop for shoes if you're gonna die if you commit suicide? Let me get this knife real quick. You never know. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? You say so. Oh. <laughs> Take a picture of the corpse, I guess. Right. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, Well, yeah, I am a hitman. What's the... <gasps> a secret... Oh! Oh, secret room. Door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. Okay. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. So it... I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. So it looks like... Whoever killed him knew, like, basically got into a secret hatch, killed him with the poison, and left. But well, who can do such a thing? I'm calling it. It's the butler. I'm, I'm, I'm calling it. It's definitely the butler. It's always the butler. It really is always Mr. the butler. Mr. I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish the time did. of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madam's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. That's suspicious. Here's the material that I've prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carla. Ah, very suspicious indeed. You don't have an alibi? <laughs> a likely story. So how does ask. one solve Patrick a murder Carlyle. mystery, 47? Can you tell Motive me where you were Motive means an opportunity, evening? I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps do you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Hey, uh... Don't tell Mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening Bad stroll. I, I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by bored. Tell me about Zachary. What did you think? What do you Zachary? think about the man? <laughs> Creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexei used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreeding so customary in these circles. So, did you see anything suspicious I, last night? Uh huh? Nah. Nothing suspicious? I reckon Zachary tops himself. I know I would have. All right, so you're nothing. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. Because yeah, you don't done. like a guy doesn't mean he didn't he did it. But I am but hit the butler, so <laughs> mm. I don't know. Let me check around more. I got it doesn't even it doesn't even mark who who's like who. Okay, so I gotta question well I can't catch the dead guy, so I gotta question him, him, her, her. Well he had questioned. 
so what else left? I got suspects. I already checked his room. I got Emma and Gregor's room, Rebecca's room, his office, and that's pretty much it. Alright, so I gotta check both their rooms and their offices. As well as talking to him in person. Okay. Oh, here's his office. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's Locked. office. Hmm. Alright, I guess I gotta find a key or something. I gotta take out a guard, get his key. Alright, let's suck the suspects first. Let's see what else the, the suspects have to say. Although, where the fuck are they? Okay, so that's the door. Where the fuck is everyone? Like, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't mark, they don't tell where everyone else is. Ah, oh, here's one. Talk to me. What do you know? Emmer Carlisle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not I a have suspect. To question everybody. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take uh -huh. to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Uh, Is that all? Huh? How did you feel I about still. Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always. I'm getting awkward. that feeling. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him what live. What the fuck? Disconnected? I don't give a shit. Let me go offline. The fuck? There we go. The fuck you Anything mean? else you want to? So know. anything suspicious you Have see? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind, except perhaps I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again. Guilt isn't her strong suit. Uh uh. Kind of odd, like a little weird. Like, oh, I have a mind grace, so I must go up to bed. Right bef like, before Gregory the time Carlyle, of death, huh? Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, uh, yes. Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around. Oh, wait! For a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other wait hand, a minute, Zachary, one of you two is lying. Sister. Cause Why, she said eight. She said half bed. after eight or something like that, like or yeah, past eight. Short of it. So Zachary one of you two is lying. When we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Is that all? Tell Whoa, me about Zachary. Well, you bitches are lying. What are you Such bitches lying? Oh, I'm, oh, ooh, I'm gonna search the fuck out of your room. Him. What of you is guilty? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother. Who travels more than she stays here? Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Anything else Anything you want to cry from my? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own. What about mistake. you, Rebecca Carla? Can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared oh, straight sure. after yeah. dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local. At Ooh! Ooh, I swear, one of you is lying. Oh, one of you two fucking lying. Oh, I caught you. Oh, I caught your ass. And went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act. Emma, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm caught you. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when mother arrived during breakfast. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I do have a lot to Ooh, see. Why are you two laughing? Because she's Did pointing a lot of blame at Emily. You know, no, Emily's you story know. really isn't it checking out. Neither the do, because she's you. saying like nine. He's saying over eight. So those two kind of match up. Apparently, <laughs> she's saying, oh, it's at eight or before. She's like, oh, it's at eight. No, okay. So she's bullshitting. She's fucking lying. I caught her ass. I may be wrong, 
But I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Yeah, Is that everything, good. Mr. Whitmer? I do have a lot. Oh, you're good. Who else I got a question? Are they everyone right? Oh, Edward. Where is Edward? Are you Edward? Wait, is that Edward there? Is that Edward? No, it's a butler. Okay, you know what? Alright, let's just look around for Edward. Camp. Let's just check the room. Do so I have a map of the room? So uh, Alright, so. One's on the first. Two. Alright, so. Two's on the first floor, okay. Sister. All right, so let's check up their rooms. See, uh, see if we can find anything in their rooms. If I run into uh, Edward, I can probably question them. Just keep calm. Don't worry, I'm already calm. Where is? Alright, so I guess to go to Rebecca's room. Okay. That is the door to Rebecca's Locked. room. <laughs> can I? I can. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, it's not suspicious at all. It's not suspicious at all. Just whatever you do, do not look at the guy shimmying across the fucking... This is not suspicious. This is not suspicious. This is not suspicious. Not suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I am not suspicious. You're suspicious. Where the computers say. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight All last right, so night. Rebecca's cleared. Rebecca is clear. Wait, what the? All right, so something wrong with that painting there. Before that, shoes and all that. Let me check the camera. Any second, scan the camera. Like any bottles. Anything with the poison here? No, anything with the oh oh. Notebook scan. Okay, apparently I scanned a notebook. Anything else here? So that's it. All right, check this. Uh. Yeah. <sighs> Ford Jr. calling from Morgan Yates and Cohn. I need to get a listing of Just cause. transfers from the Carlisle account. <laughs> Just cause. Uh, no, I need Hello. to be Go to sleep, buddy. Go to what? sleep. I don't know why I did that, but. Um, okay. <laughs> what we got here, huh? This all confirms that Arthur Edwards stole everything from Madame Carlyle. Perhaps you should let her know how bad it is, 47. Oh, body found. Oh. I guess they, uh... Oh, I don't know how they found that body, but, uh... <laughs> don't know how they found that body. Like, oh my gosh, two lures are dead! Oh, that sucks. Oh no, people are dead! Oh, that sucks. Ooh, that's, well, that's really bad. <laughs> They're like, ah! More people are dying! <laughs> like, oh, there's a murderer on the loose! Oh, I wonder who the murderer could be. Okay, so. Oh. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Okay, so I need the key. All right. Let's see if I can find a way to. Oh, another one. Found it! Uh, Alright, uh, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Whatever you do, don't be suspicious. 
I can't like like people like, like legitimately like they already found what they already found the dead body over um over the they already saw me choking the bitch out and they already found the fucking lawyer's dead body. So <laughs> some shit's going on in this house and they're like, oh okay, it's nothing. Lair opener, just cause. God, knife a bitch. Oh. I got a knife a bitch in the face, I will. I think, oh, what's that? A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's oh. room, I wonder? And why is the key yeah, missing? Yeah, okay, let me, let me, okay. It's definitely Emma, I'm calling it. It's definitely gotta be Emma. Cause she had the fucking greenhouse, she died by poison. I guarantee if we go to the greenhouse, we're gonna find the poison. Anything else? No, nothing I can scan. Oh, oh. No! Ah! Alright, let me go to the greenhouse. I guarantee fucking to you, if I go to the greenhouse, I'm gonna find I some evidence. That like a poison some shit was taken. I guarantee fucking to you. Guarantee fucking to you. All right, so I believe the greenhouse is probably out back. Hopefully they will not be like, oh, I just saw you murder a guy. Really? What me? Oh, it can't be me. Patrick tells me the man who called our door. Rebecca? Yes. Oh, so we have my case. He's okay. insisting that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her? That sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler. Oh, of course. So butler, okay. So butler has one, and Rebecca has the other. All right, gotta find this greenhouse. Oh, there it is. Gotta get to the greenhouse. Find like I guarantee you we're gonna find so much evidence that Emma did this shit. I'm calling it. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. I doubt that's true, though. No, he was here when the safe in Madame Carlyle's office was repaired last week. He had to carry some heavy bolt to the top floor. He complained about back pain for the entire weekend. A safe in Madame Carlyle's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Yeah, I guarantee it. Alright. Go to a greenhouse and... Oh! Oh! Second, Zachary committed suicide. We don't need to just run through his plan for the three keys. Okay, so I need a crowbar, a lockpick, or a key. Oh! Sure. But he, he was upset believing his sister was dead. I'd say worried about oh, how oh, things oh, be with Gregory and Emma taking over. I said they let him stay here, but Ethel was sure. Ethel was right, go away, dude. Go away. Oh, oh, didn't mean for that to happen. What? Oh, that's bullshit! Bullshit. Let me find a way to hide. Find a way to hide. Bullshit, who the fuck saw? He was literally walking away! He was dead walking away! How the fuck did he see? He was literally walking away. I swear, if he sees me, like, if he. That's bullshit. Like, he was li literally walking away. How did he see me? Bitch, how the fuck did you see me? Literally, I, you were walking away. Okay, no, okay, so you're there. Now, Zachary, check this out. 
broken lab equipment. It looks like it was uh, recently was used. Poisonous ma Yeah, it's definitely Emma. Oh, wow. It's a bit safe. Scan this shit. Yeah. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle so is Emma next in line for a poisoning. Zachary to get the mansion and then when it's great. Emma and Zachary? What am I missing for Emma and Zachary's room? Is all I need. Yo, this is all I need. Literally all. Okay, let me check the butler's room. Let me check the butler's room. Yeah, let me check the butler's room. Go back. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming in like a. Wait, this came in like a normal fucking person. Let me check the butler's room. Because I. Garrett fucking to you. Emma's fucking guilty as all hell. So where is the butler's room actually? Where where? It's over it's over here, right? It's by the kitchen, right? The, right, it was. Place open first, and then drop. All right, let me break that shit open. Pick up fire poker because I can. What? Zachary's diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago, and apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47. The handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Painkillers. Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame yeah. the butler, 47? Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present yeah, your findings. Yeah, friend the butler again. Yeah, friend the butler. I'm ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If Unless, of course, me, so. you want to do some more detective. I already know who it is. 47? I am dead enough. It's Emma. It's literally Emma. It's literally Emma. Like, there's so much evidence going to Emma. But let me just frame the butler, because, though, know, the butler's creepy as shit. Because the butler has, the butler has evidence, too. But if I, can, if I can word it right, if I can frame it, i am like, look, I know who did it. I'll keep quiet. Just you know, give me my give me the case files, and look, clear the room. No, clear the room. I'll, I'll tell you so you know, only you can know, so you'll be completely disgraced, you know, under discretion. So like, all right, clear the room. I'm like, all right, so I did it. What? Stab in the face, and then I just run. <laughs> just stab her in the face. Uh, is she okay? Don't worry about it. I just I, don't, don't worry about shit. Do I get stabbed too? Bitch, get the run. I'll off the ledge, you go. Ah! All right. God, I did know who did it. It's Emma. It's Emma. Emma did it. It's fucking so much evidence. Yeah, I love how it caused so much chaos in the, in the house. And, like, people still have, like, question, like, what the fuck is really going on? Like, legitimately, still don't know why that, how that guy saw me break into the, the greenhouse. Don't know how he saw me. This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. So, Mr. Hitmer, yes. you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Accuse Zachary? Oh, I can't accuse Emma because I don't know why. The butler, Mr. Fernsby, killed Zachary. Fernsby? 
<laughs> You've got that wrong. He would never do such a thing. He is the most loyal man I have ever met. I found pills in his office that matches the poison that killed your brother. Furthermore, I found Zachary's notebook, half burned, yes. in Mr. Fernsby's fireplace. It showed that Zachary intended to publish a written confession to a murder the two of you committed nearly 50 years ago. The murder of your older brother, Montgomery. That's outrageous. We did no such thing. No need to feign innocence. Because I am one. <laughs> I know a killer when I see one. And my discretion is assured. The papers also described how Mr. Fernsby helped you stage the murder of Montgomery as an accident. I believe he killed Zachary not to be exposed as an accomplice to murder. Sweet Fernsby. Hmm. You are wrong, Mr. Whitmer. He did not do it to protect himself. He did it to eh, protect Well, you know, he, he didn't do shit, but okay. Mr. Fernsby like myself, understands that sacrifices must be made to secure stability and prosperity. Mr. Whitmer, I'd appreciate it if your findings never leave this room. I understand Fernsby's actions, and there is no need for them to have more consequences than they already have. Fernsby was very fond of Zachary, and I am sure his decision will haunt him to the day he dies. About your reward, yes, have you considered an file. amount? I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Arthur Edwards? Yes. The Good constant. <laughs> you figure it that out, haven't mean you? You're... <sighs> I expected you'd show up. But well, you're yeah, not actually. here to kill me. If well, I'm you going were, to. You would have already. The enemy of my enemy, I suppose. Yes, you I got the case it. file. And now you all I gotta do is kill this bitch. Yes. Yes. This hit. Yeah. The file you want is in the safe. I need some privacy. Hello, sir. Thank you. Yes, some privacy. Uh, I have to, yes, I have to, work, to tell her. Don't worry. That's the file on Arthur Edwards now, secured. You Time did to take say, care of Madame Carla. You know, if I were what kill, I've done it already, and I'm doing it now. Doink! How would I fall? Huh? Uh, body found. Mission complete. Well done, forty-seven. Huh? What the fuck? The hell was that? All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, so another another mystery solved by the great Danny Detective. Wait, where the fuck do I? It's down here, right? Another mystery solved by the great Danny Detective. Now I think it's time for me to get the absolute fuck out of here. Don't worry, guys. They solved the case. I. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. Hello there, sir. Oh, the fuck. Vault. Uh, no. <laughs> now that seems like death. That really kind of seems like death. Where the fuck the stairs at? Exactly why I can't live in a house like, like big like this. I'm so confused. Searching. Searching for what? Oh, for the, oh, the, oh, the dead body? Oh, you're not going to find that shit. You ain't going to find me. I'm out, bitch. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think I'm oh, so bright. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And there's also two knocked out bodies on the floor right there. Yep, I can clear my investigation. I found out who the killer was. Have no fear. I am just going to leave. You know, you know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Detective Donnie. I am the best Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, you know what? Forty-seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out. Oh, it's oh. Constantine. Uh, yes. All right, y'all got to me shit twice. I'm out. Oh! I thought there was some stuff on 
transmission from Agent Danny Seven. Oh. Take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. 